Hello Cancer and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Cancer. Cancer, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Rumble. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Cancer, this is for you. Let's see what's going on. This is for Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. Love, lust, or loss for Cancer. Let's see. We have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. And somebody else got this. Was it Aries? I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure on that one, but somebody else got that one. I believe it was Aries. This is for Cancer. Love less your loss for Cancer. A few cards for them, a few cards for you, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Cancer, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for cancer. This is for cancer. Love, lust, or loss for cancer. Love, lust, or loss for cancer. Let's see. All right, well, there you are, right off the bat. Lots of movement here. Lots of water energy. Ooh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay. So, I feel like you're going to go go into this with a very clear mind. All right, you're not going into the situation with rose colored glasses on. All right, so we got the Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. And not only that, I do feel like this is the one because we got the King of Cups and we've got the Queen of Cups here. So to me, that's very, that's, you know, the masculine and the feminine of the same suit. Very strong emotional bond here between you and this individual. Very charming individual as well. So, Queen of Swords energy, I just feel like, you know, you, you're a little hardened by love at this point. Very experienced, yes, but like I said, you're going in with a clear mind like this Queen of Swords energy. And I feel like they're, this person is moving towards you and you're moving towards them i just feel like you're you're more over here like you're more in the let's see what happens and i will release you know let's see what this person's all about see if they're true see if it's a real situation before i let go of any of my fear here okay so just kind of seeing what they do so i feel like this this is a fear of abandonment on your end that's what i feel um a fear of being shut out i feel like this person's been through similar circumstances so this is kind of like two lone wolves finding each other in the darkness type of feeling <laughs> it's, it's nice so I feel like some of you may have been, you know, kind of alone for a while. And I feel like this person has been too. Five of Pentacles here. But I see two people braving the storm in this card, don't you? So is this your partner? Is this your friend? 
Is this somebody that's going to put you above, adore you, respect you? This is the wait and see because I feel like you were not adored or appreciated where you're coming from. All right, so you want your friend, you want your partner, you want your lover, you want to be cherished because those that did not, um, they hurt you. So you definitely got some trust issues, fear of abandonment issues floating around you here, Cancer. And for good reason. I mean, look at this. Look at, look at everything that you've been through with this Ten of Swords. So is this person with the three of pentacle, are they going to work with you? Or are they going to work against you? You know, like other people that you've experienced so far. So it's just kind of a wait and see on your end. So Cancerian energy, we got um, swords, we got air energy here, and we got more water energy, right? I feel like this person is on a higher level of emotional intelligence than what you're used to. Very charming individual. And it's just time to move forward and leave a lot of the past nonsense behind. It's time for them to move forward as well. Move towards you and leave a lot of their past nonsense behind. There is success here. Both of you have learned a lot of lessons along the way. Your love journeys haven't been easy. Yours or theirs, in my opinion. But you're going to find peace together. It's going to be easy. Easy between this deep, emo this deep emotional connection that, that you share with this person. So, they're going to understand you in in a way that I don't think you've ever been understood before. So, the chariot. That's you. And at the end of the day, it is up to you. But they're charging ahead. They're moving forward. I feel like this is you over here. And again, you can sign the roles as you wish. You're trying to make up your mind. Do I let down my guard? Do I release all these fears that I have that I carry with me with this Ten of Wands? It's a, it's a wait and see. It's a wait and see if what kind of effort and interest and time and energy they put into the situation to make it successful. So you're not just diving right in. You're, it's, it's a very, you're going in. No rose-colored glasses, very clear-minded. Before you interject any emotion into the situation, you got to see certain things from this person. So I do believe that they're going to cast all of your fear and doubt aside, right? So Ace of Pentacles, you're going to see that this person is very genuine, real, and down-to-earth. And this could be your doorway to forever. So as soon as you're over your trust issues, and these are trust issues that are from past people scarring your heart with those trust issues and fear of being left alone and fear of being abandoned and, and fear of being used and lied to and cheated on with, this is what you're used to energy vampires. You're not used to someone being on your, on your same emotional spiritual level you're not but this person is and i feel like things you know can get serious with this person should you decide to give your big old heart to this person and that for you is a wait and see so yes this could definitely be the one for you cancer and definitely this deep emotional understanding sorry for larry snoring in the background so love luster lost for you um that is love if you want it i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you like i said at the beginning of the video you can now follow me on instagram facebook twitter tiktok and rumble i'll leave those links down below in the description box cancer you have a beautiful day and a great week and i will talk to you soon take care and god bless